the the concerns of the of the minority or the camp of uh, Vice President Robredo discussed. What uh, again? Again? Concerns? Any concerns that you're going to take into consideration? Well, uh, not. I don't see any at this point. I don't know as it goes along, but I am confident that uh, the uh, canvassing will go smoothly uh, because of the electronic uh, uh, process, uh, use of, of, of electronic vote. Uh, sorry. Can you repeat? <laughs> I, 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 I have no concerns at this time until, uh, uh, but of course, uh, we will be attending the canvassing, uh, all the can all the, uh, can the canvas. Uh, I do not see at this point uh, any any point of disagreement. Uh, this is electronically transmitted. Uh, COCs uh, uh, are electronically transmitted, uh, but the of course the. Uh, uh, paper trails are there. Um, you know, in 2004, when uh, uh, we canvassed the votes uh, for president between the late Fernando Poe Jr. and uh, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, uh, because of because at that time there was no electronic transmission, there was. Uh, um, we have to look at all the paper trails. Uh, it took us time because of all the questions raised. I don't see that happening today. And uh, in, nine, in 2004, because of the questions raised, we were able to proclaim uh, Gloria Macapugal Arroyo as president already in mid-July. So you can imagine the tension that went, uh, that went with it. Uh, what is June, sorry? Huh? Mid, mid June, not July. I'm sorry. Mid, yeah. I'm sorry. Mid June. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was already the third week of June when uh, we were able to proclaim the president and the vice president, and and uh, and, and there was so much tension because there was a, a, a very the possibility of no president being proclaimed. Was very uh, was was very uh, uh, was a possibility, uh, and uh, <laughs> let me use this to recall history. And I experienced this. It was so tense at that time that I received a lot of requests, and I, for the first time, I revealed this, not to proclaim GMA because of the questions raised on the certificates of canvas. But we, but as a lawyer, uh, uh, we, uh, I know that the board of canvassers cannot look behind what is stated in the certificate of canvas. The, there is no discretion for us. We cannot rule on whether or not uh, there is cheating, uh, there is alteration, because we are not allowed to do that. We cannot look behind the election returns. But there was a lot of question raised. And as I said, it was already about the uh, second or third week of June that we were able to finish the canvas. And, uh, the, uh, and, and, and I was being uh, asked by a number of, I received a lot of communications requesting me to defer. I said, no, we cannot do that because we will create a constitutional crisis if we uh, if we if we do not proclaim any uh, president and any questions on the uh, uh, alterations on the on the authenticity of the votes appearing in the certificate of, can of canvas, I ruled that this can be brought before the electoral presidential electoral tribunal. Uh, so, but in this particular uh, canvassing today, because of it is electronically transmitted. Um, we we do not see uh, 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 much of questions being raised, um, and uh, and uh, and therefore we expect the uh, the uh, uh, proclamation uh, um, uh, to be to, uh, on time. Uh, we can if we can finish our work, 
we can proclaim uh, the winner by uh, uh, Wednesday evening. That's, that's our tentative target, or Thursday morning. Uh, so, uh, so I don't see uh, any issue that will delay us. I don't think that the Supreme Court will issue any temporary restraining order. In fact, the fact that they have asked for a comment for 15 days, give, gave a period of 15 days, indicates that they will not issue any TRO. Because at the time the comments are filed, then the proclamation would have been done and therefore the petition would become academic. It doesn't mean, though, that there is no more remedy. What the remedy is, if uh, the petitioners can file uh, a petition before the Presidential Electoral Tribunal uh, questioning the uh, eligibility of uh, assuming that uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. is proclaimed their president, they can bring, out, bring up the issue of disqualification, etc., in the Presidential Electoral Tribunal. In the meantime, uh, a president will be proclaimed mm -hmm. and can assume office. But any, any possible disqualification case will not come from the back of VP uh, Romero? Ah, no, no, no. I am talking about the present petitioners. We, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, there are, as you know, uh, in the Supreme Court, is now pending the petition for disqualification. Uh, Vice President Blaney has nothing to do with that. about the, uh, the involvement, the participation of Senator Annie Marcos in the joint canvassing. Uh, is that a legitimate, a valid concern? No, it's not a valid concern. Because you can raise the same concern of, uh, on, on Senate President uh, uh, Tito Soto. You can raise the same concern on Senator Kiko Pangilinan. Okay? Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, so, First, so that is that valid. Second, as I earlier stated, uh, the National Canvassing Board has no discretion to rule on issues arising from uh, from from the from from uh, the uh, uh, validity of the certificates of canvas, the number of votes appearing uh, in in the in the certificate of canvas. In other words, if the, cer the, 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 the uh, certificate of canvas says 100 votes uh, appears to be in favor of candidate X, you cannot claim that the 100, 100 uh, votes or 100,000 votes would, uh, we only would, would not reflect the true uh, voting uh, and question if it's really correct that they got 100,000. That will not be allowed in the... Uh, canvassing. Uh, we will have to uh, consider uh, 100,000 in that example as, as uh, votes cast and will be counted. Questions arising from, from, from that uh, will be brought to the Presidential Electoral Tribunal. Because, <laughs> and again, I would, I would repeat, it's a question of the proper process to be followed, and uh, that is otherwise, uh, <laughs> you might become a banana republic with uh, no president being proclaimed uh, at, uh, on June 30. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Kasi nasa certificate of canvas eh. Yes, sir, sir. Pero electronically transmitted na, sir, di ba yung mga COCs? Sa COMELEC, sir, did not open the uh, physical COCs anymore? Because the COMELEC is not the canvasser for president and vice president. The duty to canvas the votes for president and vice president is with Congress acting as a uh, national board of canvassers. Yes, sir, I mean, dun po sa canvassing nila sa senators, they did not open anymore the physical COCs, only the electronically transmitted lang. So dito kayo, sir, kailangan nyo pa rin i-compare yung physical copy sa electronically transmitted. Be because the Constitution says certificate of canvas. Uh -huh. And the laws, eh, wala pa naman noong uh, electronic transmission, noong binuo yan eh. I cannot respond, I cannot reply for COVID, eh, obviously. But I'm just talking about the certificates of canvas 
being uh, physically retrieved from the ballot boxes because what the, con the, uh, the, the Constitution says, the proclamation will be based on the certificates of canvas received by the uh, National Board of Canvases. Uh, so we have to retrieve the certificates of canvas from the ballot boxes. Okay. Oh, meron pa? Hmm. Sige. Wala na. This is... Kayong dalawa. Kung kung java pa kayo kung anong tatalong sa akin. Oh. Ha? What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Minority block of the 13th of the 19th Congress. I don't even know who they are. Only aside from uh, from Risa. Can you tell me who is the minority block? <laughs> no. And I'm serious because by tradition, the minority block in the Senate would be composed of those who will not vote for the senator who is, uh, uh, who is uh, subsequently elected as president. So at this point, we do not really know who is the minority block, and it is the minority block who elects the minority leader. Mm -hmm. But according to Senator Mix, what they are saying is like a super majority block in the Senate. Uh, do you think that... Is that a helpful arrangement? Well, I, I, I do not know what a super majority is. I don't know if you know that they will have an overwhelming majority, like how many? Like 16, like 17, whatever. Uh, in my view, because of the traditions in the Senate, a single opposition senator can do the job of fiscal, fiscalizing. Because we have no... Uh, we have no uh, closure. You can do filibuster, and uh, under the rules of the Senate, you cannot uh, close the period of debates. You should allow anyone who has anything to say uh, uh, to take the floor. And as long as he has the floor, you cannot interrupt him. Because of that tradition and that rule, a single uh, senator can block the passage of any law. Mm -hmm. And that is recognized by the majority, by the Senate President, and therefore, uh, because of that, uh, uh, a single senator can effectively uh, be the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the fiscalizer. Senators, this, at the end of the day, there's a so-called tyranny of numbers. Sorry? Tyranny of numbers, at the end of the day. No, precisely the tyranny of numbers <laughs> it's more theoretical in the Senate <clears throat> because of the uh, rule on no closure that you cannot stop the debate. Uh, so you cannot exercise your your <laughs> your numbers uh, if the voting cannot take place, and the voting cannot take place because of the uh, uh, rule on no closure. If the debates are ongoing, you cannot vote. If you cannot vote, uh, and, uh, and because one senator has uh, 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 availed of the uh, time uh, to, uh, to raise questions on any issue. With the success of the elections, what are the chances of the commission and appointment of the Ah, uh, hindi ko alam, you know. Good question. Uh, again, uh, the, uh, the the commission appointments, uh, commission appointments, would be composed of both the House and the Senate, twelve and twelve. Uh, so I I cannot uh, predict how what will happen, how it will proceed. Pero sa mga concerns kayo kay Commissioner Amy. Oh, yes, I have concerns about Commissioner Neri. Uh, I will attend the uh, session on June 1 and uh, let's see what happens. Sorry? Huh? 
Is it Commissioner Garcia? Is it Commissioner Garcia? Is it Commissioner Garcia? I know Commissioner Garcia. Uh, I know him to be competent, and I'll vote for him if uh, it gets to that point. Oh, thank you. Oh, mas marami yata ng media dito sa house kaysa sa edit. Sa sinado, ha? Sa sinado, kaya ng kaya dalawa tatlo lang ng jana. Kaya ng dami dami rito. Huh? <laughs> 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 <laughs>